Hi everyone, Bob Mesocomer here, and welcome to my office. It's a little musky, but it's a musky, huh? Let me see what I got here. Hold on a minute, Pete. I might just see how bad she's hooked. I might just try to hand grab her. That'd be what we're looking for. Yes, it would. I'd be ready to net if you need it. That would be okay. I think I can get her. I think I can get her. Here <laughs> We're looking for bigger ones than this, though, Pete. That's a given. That'd be pretty nice for me. Up here on top of this reef. You want to see her quick? Nice going. Yeah, I'd like to see it. She got a long nose, doesn't she? It's a pretty long fish. She got a long nose. It's not a fat one. But no, she's got a barracuda nose on her. Look at that. She's got a barracuda nose on her. Let's see if we can get us some bigger ones, huh? I'm after the big one. <laughs> Actually, I'd take anything. She'll be all right. There she goes. Yeah, she's a little length there, but uh, what a long snout. Mm. And she ate it. Hi, everybody. Bob Mears coming here. Welcome to today's show. Pete Olson's in the back of the boat. You all know him as Coach. Been with me many, many times. We're at Wiley Point Lodge on Lake of the Woods looking for muskies, I hope giant ones. Here's the reality. It's cold, really cold. Water temperature 65 degrees and falling. And what was I throwing? A top water. Nothing slower than top water on top of these reefs. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Simply Fishing out of Wiley Point Lodge, hopefully for giant muskies. I'm going to put it to you straight. I don't know if we can catch them. Stay tuned. You find out. Yes, what do you think, Coach? I just have to try. You just have to try? That's all I got to do is try. Fishing with me this week, Coach Pete Olson. You guys have known him. You've seen him on the show with me in years past. And we're going to catch some big muskies. Maybe, maybe? You've let me catch them in the past. <laughs> we're gaining on it now. This is a start. Water's cold, brother. Really cold. And somewhat green. It's green. There, on your left, you can almost see it. One of the most magnificent sights on the planet, Lake Athabasca nestled just below the 60th parallel. 
Lake Athabasca hasn't changed in nearly a thousand years with its pristine shorelines, pure crystal clear water you can actually drink, and countless fish. Boy, has she got fish that is for everyone willing to travel to Other Side River Lodge. From the magnificent world-class northern pike that prowl these waters to the oldest and biggest lakers on the globe, Athabasca has it all. Other Side River Lodge caters to the true sportsman seeking an all-American plan guided package with three incredible meals a day and memories you won't find anywhere else. Records have been broken by guests at Other Side River Lodge in the past. You could be next. Book your dream trip of a lifetime to Other Side River Lodge, where fishing dreams do come true. Call Cliff or Stella toll free at 1-877-922-0957. Well, you know, Bob, you can't always select the fish you want to catch. <laughs> that may be true, Jody, but you can select the lake in which you fish them. Yes, you can. Got that one. All right. Yes, sir. Got that one. All right. Bob Masacoma here for Klein Nissan. Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taken in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. Shallow diving, solid bodied crankbaits such as Grandma's 9 inch version work very well as shallow water jerkbaits. They rid themselves very nicely of any clinging vegetation and are very effective while being fished behind any other style of presentation. In our case, we chose a brightly colored body with contrasting color scheme to enhance visibility. There's tons of bait fish under us. Yeah, I see them on the locator. Yeah. Last night when we caught that fish on the Awaker, there was billions of those little, I don't know what they are, but man, they were just all over the place. They're a little shiner minnow of some sort. See, here's the cabbage in there. See this? Yeah, and see, here's the ribbon grass. But this cabbage in this corner is still green. It's one of the rare, rare places that we found any green cabbage whatsoever. That's what it is. Nice little thin pieces of green cabbage. I just hit it again. We'll work our way into the pocket, back out on the little reef part. See, look at this. This is what we got in here. This is tobacco cabbage. This is a different kind of cabbage than what I just had in the last cast. You can see how tobacco-ish it looks. I mean, big broad leaves, green leaves. This is the kind of stuff I think some of the Wisconsin guys call this musky weed. But this is tobacco cabbage. And that's what they're looking for these fish in right now. That's going to give them the shade. The calm area is going to let it warm up a little bit, I hope. And maybe we'll catch a fish in here. Well, I thought when you're starting here that we were going to be looking at rock coming off of this island. No, there's some cabbage in here to deal with. And with that marker buoy. Well, there's rock out there. You're just banging the rocks in there, Coach? I have been, but I was getting some of that ribbon grass in there, too. That's OK. Now, the last couple of casts have been clean. That lure will actually shed that, too. Grandma's a good depth finder, if you will. People don't realize that, but when you throw a crankbait, you can learn so much about what's going on in your vicinity, about the depth, if you will, and some of the vegetation, what have you, by making contact with that grandma. It'll back back out, so it's not going to hurt you to hit a rock or two. See, I've always been leery about doing some of that, about jamming it in the rocks. No, they'll back out pretty good. They're just going for uh, vibration. No, how deep can you see? 
I can see maybe one foot. Yeah, maybe if you're lucky. When that boat is under, or that bait is underneath me, it's about four feet down, and it raises, rises up. I can't see it till it's one foot. Yeah, we have a little bit of cloud in and out on us. It's really not super bright and sunny. There's a little cloud out there. I think we each saw one here. I saw a small one. Yeah. Fish? Yes. Pike? No, it ain't. No, not a pike. Get lots of deep water, so just bring her this way. Nice fish. Good fish. Yeah. Just bring her this way. Bring her this way. I'll be trying. Yeah, bring her this way. Stay down. On that grandma, huh? Yeah! Okay. Come on down in the seat. I'm going to have you hold the handle. Go ahead, get in the seat. Yeah, just check there. Thank you. Okay. She's fine. She's fine. Look at that hook is in the top, huh? Yeah, she's fine. I'm gonna give you the handle. Hang on to her. Yeah, keep her up. Yeah, hang on to her. Hang tight. Tough to get at it there. Yeah, it is. I'll get to it. Why do you stop at a spot after a hard day like this and decide to fish it? That's the key. Yeah. You know? Why do you do that? Why do you stop? Okay, this that. is that's gonna float. Okay. okay, I got the net. I'm gonna turn her around so you can lift her out of the net, okay? Your lure is fine. What are you going to get for measurement on that? 43. Oh, it's bigger than 44. that. 44. It'd be bigger than that. Can you reach your coat? Yeah. That's something sharp there. Uh, probably a tooth. Now watch your thumbs and your nope. fingers when you come up. You got her. <laughs> yeah, tell me again. You got her. Oh. <laughs> you got a picture quick. I don't have a camera. We got video. Okay. Good job, big guy. Nice, huh? She ate you on that grandma right in there in about three foot of water. Yeah, I thought I was hitting a rock. It might have, <laughs> might have come off a rock. You said pike, and I go, oh no. <laughs> oh, let's set her back. Good job. Oh, I got a good 45 on there. Okay, go 45. She's a good fish. Very nice fish. But she really hammered it, didn't nice she? Nice back, huh? Yeah. 46. <laughs> Look at the color on that. Yeah, she's pretty. She ready to go? Look at that blue. As soon as she wiggles a little there bit. She there she goes. She's wanting to go. She's out of here. Good job. Yo, know, you didn't exactly make her day, <laughs> but you made ours. <laughs> it took us a little while. Huh? It took all day long to get these fish. Folks, we have 65 degree water, 66 degree water, depending on where the boat's setting. We have a lot of algae influence in the system right now. He went to a, he went to that, actually that clown or that uh, bandit uh, yellow uh, grandma to get that, throwing yellow. that bright bait up there on top and ripping it down through the cabbage and rocks. Good job, coach. Yes. You think I can do it again? <laughs> I hope you can do it again. And Because last, last night we had that one eat the waker, and now you got this one in the boat, so maybe things are looking up. Maybe we'll get some fish.
all day long and not even seeing a fish. Yeah, well. Not even a pike. I know, but that's what musky fishing is, you know. Oh, oh boy. Zero to hero in one cast. <laughs> As a good friend of mine would say, from seagull to eagle in but one cast. <laughs> am I ever going to catch another one? Uh, that's up to you. <laughs> I'll try. All right, keep working on it, huh? <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, big fish. Big fish! This side over here. Oh. That is a 50 fish. <laughs> Folks, you're seeing it right now. My 100th just came in the net at Witch Bay Camp. Holy smokes, Rocky. He ate that thing. Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all-new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the A-Team. Simply call 1-800-222-8775. been excellent. Uh, Randy did a great job, the guiding service. Uh, Randy started taking us out when I was 10, and we've been catching big muskies ever since. The accommodations here are fantastic. Check out Century Lodge on Osborne Bay. Come on, bring her back. You throwing a Havana, Coach? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> You'll be able to throw all the way across the top of this saddle that's here? Well, I'm going to try and throw out in open water and bring it back over that thing. This is the area, remember last night, I had two of them try to eat that Mad Mike? Right. This is right here, one on both sides of it tried to eat. It was so windy in here, it was unbelievable. There you go. I'll work you across here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the boat off the saddle itself. So I'll work you across here so you can fish this saddle. And I'll flick back behind me at some of those little slick eddies behind me giving you an opportunity to run all the way across this. The bigger fish was on this side last night. I had one on both sides, but the bigger one was on that side. I don't want to throw across there with this bucktail and get caught on the rocks. So go ahead and put that Havana across there. Yeah, this jack will go any place. <laughs> well, it is kind of nice. There you go. And I'd hit from both directions. I'd throw past that side, come this way, that yep. way, and I'd kind of work it around. We'll work across, you can hit this wall. I'll throw over to here. Work up this edge. This is really a good spot in here if the walleye are in here. Last night, this place was alive with minnows. I'm telling you, there was billions of them in here. Back at E. Make sure you get that point right there. I'm so close, I'm on dry land. <laughs> well, what people don't realize is the temperature that we got going on right now is really cold. These fish are in transition. They leave the weed beds and things like that when the water temperature hits about 65, 66, maybe 67 degrees and they start to relocate in various areas. This is all rock in here. There's no weed to speak of, but there's current in here, even with this lake as low as it is right now, and in as little wind as we've got in this actual corner, there's still current in here, and that current focuses the bait. And it'll also focus the predator.
that thing's going to get chewed. I'm going to slap it right up in that little eddy that's in there. This is risky with a bucktail on top of those rocks because you've got to come right off the rocks. There is a little current in here pushing us around. Well, I hope that doesn't curve into the rocks. I will go get it. Not a real big issue. There we go. Off that eddy on the back side there. Pouch. Sitting over that little slick eddy right there. Got it locked? No, it's not locked. It will be. Okay, coming around. Nice going. Oh. It's okay, hang on, I'll bring her back. Once more. I'll bring her back. Get the bag down in the water, I'll bring over the top of the bag. Bring the bag down in the water. Down in the water, please. Good job. Oh, man. Good job. Okay. Right out of that little slick back eddy, folks. We were in here last night. It was roaring in here. We had wind. We had waves. We had current. But we had fish going in here. We came back this morning to see if one of them was still here. We got a nice mid-40. Is that a good fish? Good. Nice fish, eh? Yeah. Good girl. That's got a back on it. Yep. Now what I'd like you to do, Coach, is just come down in the seat. Yeah, come right down in the seat. There. There you go. Got her. Hang on to that. I'll get her out of here. Yeah, she's good mid-40. Maybe even better, huh? I thought it looked a little better. Oh, she's off. Good. Let me get the hooks out of there. Yeah, she's a nice fish. You were telling me to watch the back eddy. I didn't know what you were talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to watch the back eddies in here. Look for the little calm slicks. Got her. Oh, I guess not. Got her now. Oh, she's big, wound up. Big head. Okay, I'll show her to you quick. Huh? <laughs> There's really bigger ones. And we're having a tough time trying to find the really big fish, but there are big fish here for us to catch. Get her back, huh? Nice going. Yeah, nice fish. There you go, girl. Yeah, solid. There you go, baby. Thank you. That's 45, 46. I'd say that, yeah. It's right up there. Mid 40. Good fish. Superb. I'm going to get hooks back on that bait and we we're going to move around uh, in here. Like I said, folks, we had fish in here last night. We have been absolutely plagued with big winds, huge winds. Yesterday, the winds blew out of the southwest for about a solid nine hours yesterday at 30 mile an hour plus. It blew a huge amount of water up the lake. Well, last night at about six o'clock, those winds started to subside just a little bit. So we we came up in here and the lake was backing up. And there was huge back eddies in here and I had two fish try to eat a Mad Mike topwater last night. Decided to come back and get a shot at that one. Sometimes it's just returning on something you've seen, witnessed, or have prior experience on and that's basically what we just did. Hi, I'm Bill Foner. And we're Mike and Evan Macecomber. And I'm Bob Macecomber with Landon. We're Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. We will do more than simply keep you afloat. We are performance fishermen selling and servicing. The fishermen who demand performance. Where are we? Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. Hey, fishermen.
Benjamin. Come see us at Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. Perfect. Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all-new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the A-Team. Simply call 1-800-222-8775. Bob Mesacoma here for Klein Nissan. Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taken in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. Spinnerbaits such as the m g are among the most versatile lures in a muskie angler's arsenal. Their presence is both audible and visible. Start by approaching an area with a shallow, slightly faster retrieve to cover your water quickly, looking to attract the more aggressive fish in the area. If that fails, slow down your presentation and work fish position slightly deeper in the water column. In my opinion, someone should always be throwing an m g That was good. Heather, come back to you. Get that down in the water. Get it opened up and I'll bring her to you, okay? Oh, it's good for the tail. No, 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 gone. <laughs> Folks, that's the way it's been this week. I kid you not. It's the way it's been. It's simple, it's musky fishing, it is what it is. Not every fish is going to come in the boat, nor can you expect it to. The weather's never going to play the way you want it to, nor can you expect it to. Algae's going to be here. You can expect that. The reality is this musky fishing is what it is. We want to thank everybody back at Wiley. We want to thank them for giving us the opportunity to shoot today's show. And remember, practice CPR, catch, photo, and release. Future fishing is in your hands. Not the LDRs, but the real catch and release. That's what it's all about. I'm Bob Mason for saying, watch us next week. We're going to take you someplace else in God's country for a giant muskie. Remember, go to the website. Check out.